Today we're going to dive into some juicy news from the Roloff family of Little People Big World. And trust me, you do not want to miss this episode. We're talking about a new service that has everyone talking, and let's just say the reactions are intense. If you've been following Big World of Little People for a while, you know that the Roloffs are professionals at turning their TV fame into money. Seriously, everything they touch turns into a money-making opportunity. And it's not just the main actors. It extends to family members who don't even appear on the show anymore. Remember Tori and Zach Roloff? Well, they're using their platform to attract listeners to their new podcast, Raising Heights. And even those who left the show a long time ago are still profiting by starting businesses that are thriving thanks to their fame on LPBW. I mean, who wouldn't want to benefit from that kind of fame, right? But today, we're going to talk about someone who is really going above and beyond with a new service that is, let's just say, not what you'd expect. So, here's the scoop. Isabel Roloff, yes, Jacob's wife, has launched a brand new venture that is making waves. And when I say waves, I mean that some fans are excited, but others, not so much. Now, Isabel offers to paint soulful portraits. You heard right, that's right, soul portraits. And, you know, they are not cheap. She asks as much as $222 for each one. Yes, you heard that right. $222 for a work of spiritual art. According to some experts in this art, these portraits should be very personal, offering guidance or marking life milestones. They should connect you to loved ones who have passed away or help you manifest abundance in your life. Sounds pretty profound, doesn't it? And to be honest, it fits with Isabel and Jacob's general vibe. They've always been all about spiritual growth and alternative paths. But whether people will really buy into this idea is the question. What do you think? Would you pay more than 200 bucks for a soul portrait? But of course, not everyone is happy about it. As expected on the internet, there was a serious negative reaction. Fans of the show have taken to social media, and let's just say they are not holding back. One fan wrote, a lot of people are saying they don't want to judge her art, and that's a commendable stance, but the fact is she's not an artist. She's not an artist, and she knows it. She's in it for the money, and that's insulting and unfair to real artists, so I don't think anyone should feel ashamed to criticize and mock her. None of this hurts her soul as an artist. She is just angry and shows how much money people have paid her recently for her work to prove that she has the right to sell it. I don't know any other artistic soul who does that. Ouch. That's a pretty harsh criticism, but it's not over yet. Another commenter added, bad, bad artist. I'm an artist myself and I never speak ill of other artists work, but $300 for a child's finger painting or what the hell is that? Has anyone seen her work? I'll save your soul for $400. Wow. People really don't hold back. It seems that for every fan who might appreciate the spiritual or artistic side of it, there are many who see it as nothing more than a money grab. But maybe that's just part of the game when you're in the public eye. It's clear that Isabel's venture is causing a stir. And to be honest, I can't wait to see where it goes. All right, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to get all the latest news about your favorite stars and shows. And if you have any hot gossip or tips you want me to cover, leave them in the comments or send me a message. I'm Julie, signing off. See you next time.